So the number of carjacking in Chicago has gone up because of violent video games like Grand Theft Auto, according to an Illinois legislator. First, I want to say all crimes like carjackings are wrong and you should never do anything like that. But there's something I do not understand. Why some people always believe that people would want to commit a crime because they play a video games like Grand Theft Auto. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 since January 2016, but you will never ever see me once want to go outside and do what I did in a video game because I have something called common sense and I know that if I really want to do anything I did in GTA 5 in real life, well most of them, I will have to pay the price like going to prison. Because almost all violent video games like GTA 5 are adult games, which is clearly written on the package of the game. So no children shall be playing GTA 5 in my personal opinion. That will be the fault of the parents, not the gaming developers. Also correct me if I am wrong, but I have never seen any children that want to bang their head to a brick wall in real life to search for magic mushroom or magic cons or go around and stepping on turtles after playing a game of Super Mario. And that is because even children have common sense that we don't need to teach them. So why would anyone need to teach an adult about those common sense? If someone want to commit a crime, they will do it whether they play video games or not. This is not related. Also, American Psychological Association, the leading scientific and professional organization, did have this to say last year that, quote, violence is a complex social problem that likely stems from many factors that warrant attention from researchers, policy makers, and the public. Attributing violence to video games is not scientifically sound and draws attention away from other factors such as history of violence, which we know from the research is a major predictor of future violence. Also, the Entertainment Software Association has issued a statement. While our industry understands and shares the concern about what has been happening in Chicago, there simply is no evidence of a link between interactive entertainment and real-world violence. We believe the solution to this complex problem resides in examining through the actual factors that drive such behavior rather than erroneously ascribing blame to video games based solely up on speculation. So somehow some people will ignore the experts and say that the violent video games like Grand Theft Auto are the reasons of crimes. It is the same arguments that whether violent movies should be banned, and let's face it, there are a lot of movies from Hollywood that are violent. Should they be banned too? How about books that talk about violence? How about story about violence? How about jokes about violence? And I guess sooner or later, we will have to ban not just video games, but also movies, books, or even talking to each other. I'm sure that will make that Illinois legislator very happy. Anyway, those are just my personal opinion of the situation. And no, violent video games like Grand Theft Auto are not the reason of crimes, but they are the reason why some want to make themselves look good. Just like those social justice warriors on the internet. But as always, you are welcome to tell me what you think of the situation in the comment section down below. I read all your comments and before I end this video, video games like Grand Theft Auto may not be the reason why crimes increase, but they are still not good for you if you play video games all day long, just like watching TV all day long is also not good for you as well, right? Anyway, thanks for watching.